Hey guys, so I had a power outage for two nights in a row and I wanted to talk about what I did to help keep my fish and my tanks doing well. So I'm gonna preface with this tank right here is my ancestor's grow out tank. So I've got quite a few fish in here. It's a 29 tall that's only about half full. And within 30 to 45 minutes, maybe an hour, I started having fish come up to the surface really, really quickly and come back down. And that was telling me that they're running out of oxygen really, really quickly. Even this large uh, female, she was starting to come up, which is very, very unusual for her. So I kind of started freaking out. Um, but luckily, I had these portable air compressors that worked really, really well for me. And you can see I've got some kind of air on all my tanks, even in the quarantine and in, in the 75 in the back corner, even though the lights are off. Um, but I use these two pumps to power all three of these tanks, the Insistress Grow Out, the 20 Long, and my quarantine, because I did have some... Uh, Tetras in quarantine at the time. Uh, <clears throat> so these come in two sizes, this larger size, and then also one that's about half the size. I don't have any wattages or how much air they're pushing through or anything like that off the top of my head. But like I said, I use these two, box, two boxes to power two tanks. Um, so I have this one cracked open so that we can look at the inside here. Now, if you look real close, there's no gasket or anything on the inside of these, which means there's not really any protection from water. So if you get these a little wet, you need to pull them out, let them dry, I mean, turn them off and pull the batteries out, and then let them dry so you can kind of save those components. If you get some rusting on these pegs right here, um, you can try using uh, like a wire brush and uh, scraping some of that rust off. That way you can get a better connection with the battery. But that has worked sometimes and sometimes not for me. The same rusting can happen with this compressor in here. This whole uh, metal compressor part can get rusty really quick and just kind of shut down on you. <clears throat> um, I've got this one next to it with batteries that are actually in it so you can kind of see what it puts out. Um, they do come with an air stone. Uh, I, I can't ever remember seeing one that didn't have an air stone, but you can see it's putting out a fair amount of air and it's not super, super loud. It's obviously way louder than your typical plug in the wall air pump that you'd use on a daily basis. But in a situation where you don't have any power, it's really just, something you got to put up with and I feel like in most situations you're going to be able to put up with it. Um, but they do take C batteries which are the really big ones and these boxes powered all three of these tanks for both power outages for me and collectively that was about 18 hours and the batteries are still running. Now I would recommend having some extra batteries just in case because when we had the power outage they change the estimated time that it would be back on probably six times between nine o'clock and six o'clock in the morning the next day so you'll want to have some extra batteries <clears throat> but these came in really really handy in a pinch and if you've got fish you've got uh thing animals that you're needing to take care of in the water i'd highly recommend that you get some of these it really saved me and my fish, especially on my grow out tank since I have so many fish in there and really helped uh, ease my mind on how I was gonna save these fish and keep them around. So you can find them in Academy. They're pretty regular, pretty, uh, pretty much everywhere. So the thing that I will say is that these are often used by fishermen. So during the spring and maybe fall whenever people start fishing a lot more, like especially around spring break, you, they may be hard to come by because everybody's going to get those to help keep their bait alive. So that's something to keep in mind if you're trying to find them and you can't figure out why, that may be part of it. Um, so if y'all have any questions, just let me know. If you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button um, and hit that like button. If y'all have any recommendations outside of what I did on this, I'd greatly appreciate it if you'd let me know down in the comments. I guess I'll catch y'all later.